lovelies. So I just wanted to take an opportunity to kind of update you on me without doing really short all over the place vlogs. What is this hair doing? What? What, do, what is your concept? Tell me. Um, it's not working for me. Okay. Uh, anyways, so this is going to be all over the place. But I just wanted to update you kind of like on me and my body and what's going on with my health and all that good stuff. So I recently, my parents went to Florida because that's where they live and they went for, well my mom went for over a month and then my dad went for a couple weeks and my best friend Lindsay came and stayed with me and then now they're back and my best friend Lindsay has left. And, um, I very much, at least for me, my mood and, like, my situation that I'm in, uh, very much affects my health. So, any sort of change really rattles me. And anything that really rattles me usually gives me panic attacks. And that just makes life a lot more difficult. And I tend to isolate and kind of just need to be in this cocoon for a little bit while I just kind of reassure myself that everything's okay, everything's different, but different is okay. So while I'm doing that, I am very vulnerable and rethinking a lot of stuff and overthinking a lot of stuff and just all these things that are kind of my vices that um, I work really hard on and you know my favorite verses in the Bible are all about like not worrying and like not carrying a heavy yoke and all that kind of stuff but when these things happen and my health starts to go downward when these things happen it's just those little thoughts pop into my head and of course I try to fight them off as best I can and I give them to God and um, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't work and I'm only human and, um, I get sensitive about things and things I wouldn't normally and, uh, I get really, like the spoon theory video, I was very emotionally attached to that video. Like, I'd been wanting to do it for so long and I felt like God was putting on my heart to do it. And it just felt like a lot of pressure to do it perfectly. And I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. But once you push publish on it, like it's out there. And I want to get very defensive about it because I'm, atta I'm emotionally attached to it, which I shouldn't be. And um, because it's cool to hear what you guys ha have to say about it and how you would have done it differently. And. Um, and I think it's in, it's interesting that of you, the people that see that it was hard for me to do it, um, like saying that I should have given, taken away um, more spoons from her. And I don't know if I edited out those parts, but there are parts where I say I should have taken two spoons from you, or I would have taken two spoons from you, but I feel bad. Like, but I don't know if I edited that out, but. It was really hard, but in that, I learned how freaking hard, I mean, I feel bad and I'm sympathetic to Lindsay, which is, this is like a hypothetical situation, but I don't show the same kindness to myself, like, oh, Emily, you're out of spoons for today, like, don't feel bad if you can't hang out with friends and you have to text people that you can't come, like, I beat myself up. And so I have to really, I learned through doing that, that I have to start being kinder to myself because I felt for Lindsay when she was getting so low on spoons, but yet that's my everyday and I start out with half those spoons. So, um, but I also wanted to kind of show, um, because Lindsay does work, so there are people that have fibro or ME or MS or um, chronic fatigue or depression, anxiety, and they still work. So I wanted to show that 
if I had done like bad, severe, it would have been a lot different. And I think the video wouldn't have worked as well because pretty much like she would have had to do a non-regular day and by the time it was like 11, she wouldn't have any spoons left. Which I could totally do that if you guys want to see what it's like, like kind of like in a day in the life of me. Um, how I do with my spoons, but I do a really poor job with my spoons, but I could definitely do that with one of my friends, um, again, and, uh, do a more severe, because with fiber, you ha there's a range, there's mild to, to severe, and I definitely did mild when I did Lindsay, because, um, I don't know where everybody's at, so I kind of just, like, picked that as, like, a mid-range, um, but, also something I should have explained in that video is that Lindsay is extremely active like she's not the type of person that would come home from work and brush her teeth and get in bed and that's why I don't think like either one of us discussed because she's the type of person that's like on her phone or wants to watch a movie or jump in bed or take a shower and she always washes her face whether she wears makeup or not um, and she'll go out usually and hang out with people so um, I guess we didn't really explain that part of it, but she was experiencing it and I could see it, but I guess not knowing Lindsay as well, like she's my best friend. So not, so when she gave me that last spoon, it was like, she really like felt it <laughs> and was kind of like, I'm just gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. Like that's gonna suck. So, um, but maybe that wasn't explained well enough, but. Um, I think you guys really liked it. I got really good feedback in the comments and, um, you know, it's always really great to get constructive criticism, which is what you guys gave me. Um, nobody was just like, ah, oh, you should have get taken away all of her spoons. That's it. It was like, this is a really great video. Like I've been, and, um, especially like hearing that other people want to do it. So I'm hoping like, you can take what I t did and kind of like improve it with your criticism, like taking more spoons or um, explaining something more, explaining the spoon theory more, or something like that. Um, definitely let me know if you do it. I would love to watch it and have others watch it because I was not really impressed with the spoon theories that I saw out there. Not that they were bad or anything. I just, um, with me being painful hilarity, I just like there to be a little bit of brightness and happiness in it, and like, you guys know, if you watch my videos, you know I like to have a little of both of the humor and, um, and the reality of things, so, um, so I'll kind of probably be isolating, I have some videos that I'm working on, um, I, the, I have a giveaway. I have absolutely no reason. These are the two things I'm hung up on. I have absolutely no reason to do the giveaway. But I, well, I just want to do it because I love you guys. And the other thing is I didn't know what the like criteria for doing the giveaway. You know, like last time I did, you needed to subscribe, share the video on Instagram or Twitter leave a comment, I don't know, there was like 18 things, and it was like super overwhelming for me, <laughs> and I was like, what did I do? But, um, for this one, because like, I really just want to give the stuff to you, I talked to my mom about it, and I was like, mom, what, what do I do? And, um, I've been working really hard on the Painful Hilarity site, and keeping up with that, and you guys have been messaging me on there, and I've been putting quotes, and my videos post there. Um, so I think that I, I'll just have you guys sign, you know, sign up and like there and then comment on Painful Hilarity that you're a new follower. Um, cause what I'm really looking for in anything I do on this is like the community and bringing us together and not even necessarily ha you having to speak cause some of you guys don't want to talk to one another or to me, but, um, I'm talking to you. I hope you feel that. It was really, it's really weird to watch my, my, um, early videos because I'm just like not connected at all because I just was talking to myself. And now I have more of a sense that 
I know some people are going to watch this and I am talking to you. So it's a lot cooler for me. So that's why I really love giving, doing giveaways. And anytime I buy stuff for myself, I just like have to buy stuff for you because you guys are my friends and you just mean a lot to me. I don't know if you guys really realize how much you mean to me, but um, this journey so far has been so cool. I mean, just so cool. And I just appreciate everybody that takes the time to watch even a couple minutes of my videos and um, connect with me or leave a comment and or sh you know message me on Painful Hilarity Facebook page and tell me your story and give me ideas for vlogs and um, please don't forget that I um, that I would forget your um, ideas if I have told you that I'm going to do a vlog about something. I have it written down and I have a concept working. It's just those uh, are vlogs that I put a lot more time and energy into, meaning I do research and um, like for instance, I'm doing a vlog um, about one of the most frequently asked questions, but I got a chance to talk to um, one of my viewers a little bit more in depth with her about it. Um, and uh, I, it's just something I really want to discuss and it's about um, the use of narcotics for fibromyalgia or things like that like nerve pain type stuff um, and the regulations and all that so it's but it's a lot to tackle and it's a hot button type um, video vlog and but I want to do my opinion on it but I want my opinion to also be grounded in some research that I know, some more research that I'm going to look into, and then also I've talked to other people to see how they feel about it because I have um, friends that are in, counsel in, in counseling fields, I have friends that work with addictions, like addiction specialists, um, so it's really cool to talk to all sides and kind of see how their opinion mixes with mine. Now it doesn't mean I necessarily agree with them or they agree with me, but I think it's cool to, to know what each side is saying and why. So um, that's why those take a little bit longer, but I have them written down and I get so excited about them. Anytime you guys give me an idea for a vlog, I don't, I don't think you understand how freaking excited I get because there are just some days where, I mean you guys watch my videos, there are some days where I'm just like, hi! I'm in a ton of pain today, so I'm going to watch a movie. Bye. Like there's just some days I have no idea what to talk to you guys about. I mean, I talk, I I vlog every single day. Like, and my life is not that interesting. So um, I absolutely love it, and don't think that I've forgotten about it. Um, I have each of them written down, and still working on them a little bit each day. And um, so don't think that I forgot about it. What else can I update you on? Um, one of my dogs has these growths. Oh, um, not growths. Um, I might try to tag like a picture of it. It's actually a really, really gross picture. So just be warned if you're like woozy or don't like to see something, an open wound or something, don't look at it. Um, but it is a, a pretty big probably that size and what was happening is like we kind of just saw like it was wet and we went to clean it and like her skin just like came off with like her hair and so she had one on the side and the doctor said that she maybe she got bit by something but then we just found another one on her back and it was the same thing it was kind of like pus that was dried and I went to pull it and like Percy's skin just started coming off so um, we're just really concerned for her because she's a little bit older. She has a small dog. She's a border carrier, but, um, I think she's 15 now, 14 or 15, um, which, I mean, she could have five more years in her, but, uh, we're just a little, a little bit concerned about it. I'm really mostly concerned about it because we've seen so much stuff, especially with fostering. Um, with 45 dogs in and out of our house we've seen so much stuff and I've never seen this and I have no idea what it is so I've been doing a lot of research on that 
um, which is taking up time for my researching for my vlogs. But um, if you guys could just keep her in your thoughts and prayers, she's my little sweetheart. Um, I'm just so glad she's back here with me because uh, if anything were to happen to her and I wasn't there, I would be devastated. So, um, hmm, I am so, I, you guys know I have appointment anxiety, but I am so freaking excited to go see my doctor next week and hopefully I'll vlog about it because I, um, speaking about medicine, but there was a medicine that used to, t I would take it when, there are certain headaches that you can tell are going to turn into migraines um, once you've had migraines quite a bit, and there was a medicine that I took called Furacet, and um, I would take that at the beginning and it would nip my headache in the bud and I wouldn't go into migraine. Well, now that they're not manufacturing that medication anymore, I I have migraines sometimes four days a week, four times a week. Uh, I had no idea that I had migraines this severely um, until that medication changed. So I really need to talk to my doctor and get this under control and I have tried other things and that's what's worrying me because I've tried like Topamax I think or something like that um, for an everyday type thing and I've tried a uh, Boltab I think is the generic name for it um, which didn't work because that's like the parts of Furacet is just minus the caffeine. I don't know, it's a mess and um, migraines are just so debilitating and I have them I have them about like once a month but and I would deal with that but to have them this many times is really scary to me so I'm really excited to talk to her um, even more so than my pain management right now which is also not under control um, because I've had to try new medications um, since the FDA is it changed the Tylenol um, dosage for a lot of things so a lot of changes and I don't like it so um, yeah y'all can be wishing me luck for that appointment um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more a little more coherently of just about what's been going on and what I'm thinking and I feel so much better so I hope that you guys really like this video. If you guys have any questions for me, put those in the comments down below. And I would really, really, really love it if you would tell me how you're doing today. Um, on my videos at the beginning, you guys used to tell me almost every day how you were feeling. And I love that because I like to know what's going on with you guys and how you're feeling. And is this a bad time and um, things like that. So I can be praying for you and just have you in my thoughts. Um, so please write down below how you're feeling today and um, I really love and appreciate you guys. Um, I don't, you might think nobody does, but this girl right here does. So, um, and you can consider me a friend, text me, um, well, I can I call the new messenger on Facebook texting. So, um, you can Facebook message me on my personal Facebook, you can go on Painful Hilarity and message me. Um, you can message me on YouTube. Uh, I love talking to you guys. So I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. And I'm sending out X double O's. And I will talk to you guys as usual tomorrow.